One. The history of Manifest Destiny of the United States is very important as to how this country came about. James Polk dreamed of spreading the United States from sea to shining sea. In the early 1800s, the United States were worried that their next-door neighbors, France, would take over. They soon offered to buy part of the land owned by this country, trying to keep France from controlling all of the land. This is the Louisiana Purchase in plain English by Joe Morgan, Brandon, and Alley. In 1803, Thomas Jefferson sent James Monroe to France to negotiate over the port city of New Orleans. At this time, the United States worried that if France controlled the port, they would shut down the port to America, causing trouble for American farmers. They also hoped to gain control of the Mississippi River. Jefferson told Monroe to propose an offer for New Orleans for $7.5 million. Surprising Monroe, Napoleon Bonaparte offered the whole of the Louisiana Territory for $15 million. Pretty expensive, right? Wrong! This territory ne nearly doubled the land of the U.S., costing around just three cents an acre. Wow. wow! He offered this land because France and Britain were on the brink of war. Napoleon was afraid that if Britain won the war, they would take the land. We were allies with the French at the time, so they decided that they would rather have the Americans control the land instead of the British. Thomas Jefferson was ecstatic at the offer and was quick to accept the land. Purchasing this land would give the U.S. full control of the Mississippi River. Yet there was much talk of how buying foreign land was unconstitutional. People believed that Thomas Jefferson did not have the right to purchase this land. Jefferson did what he thought was right, and on April 30, 1803, he went along with buying the Louisiana Territory. After he bought the land, Jefferson sent Lewis and Clark to explore the new land. Along the way, Lewis and Clark met a Native American girl named Sacagawea. Sacagawea was a native to the land and was able to help the explorers on their expedition. Along the way, Lewis and Clark were expected to find out the types of plants and animals living in this territory and if the land was good for settling in. Lewis and Clark also wanted to find a route to the Pacific Ocean known as the North Pass. During their expedition, Lewis and Clark kept journals and diaries about their experiences and findings of the land. From these journals, the United States was able to find out what kind of land was found in the area and pioneers were later able to settle there. Lewis and Clark's expedition was rough and adventurous. Along the way, they encountered many hardships, such as constipation. During their journey, Lewis and Clark had a diet containing only meat and no vegetables. Without the vegetables they needed, they became constipated. Because of their constipation, they took laxatives, also known as thunderclappers. These laxatives gave Lewis and Clark the runs. Lewis took six laxatives at once, causing him to have some bad diarrhea. You gross! These laxatives contained mercury, and historians later found the trail these explorers took because of the mercury contained in their waste. Sacagawea was very important to Lewis and Clark's expedition. Sacagawea knew the land well and was able to guide Lewis and Clark on their journey. Lewis and Clark were able to discover more in their expedition with her help. Without the help of Sacagawea, Lewis and Clark's journey would have taken more time. They would not have known where to navigate throughout the land without her. Through the Louisiana Purchase, the United States were able to continue their dream of manifest destiny, spreading the country from sea to shining sea.